Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 1094. Hey, if you want to download this workbook and follow along, click on the link below the video. Wow, we have an amazing tip from Abby Hay Gadia from YouTube. And here's the deal. We have these sales rep, Joe Chin and Gigi. And look at these sheets. Each sheet has been named inconsistently, right? Joe's name is in the middle here. Chins is at the beginning and Gigi's at the end. But we somehow need to get the total from cell A8 on each sheet and bring it back to here. But we want to only have our sales rep name. Well, we're going to have to do sheet references. Now, if there was really just three or um, you wanted to do it manually, you could just do this. Watch, I'm going to do it over here. Equals, click on the sheet, click on the cell, enter. Equals, click on the sheet, click on the cell, enter. So we're getting the proper A8 from the sheet that contains the text Joe here. Chin, Chin's name is there, right? A8. Actually, I want to do one more because we want to look at the sheet syntax here for a sheet reference. Notice there's a space there, so there's these single apostrophes around the sheet name, and then the explanation point is the syntax for sheet reference. That means that word is OK in the formula, because that's there. It tells Excel that that's a sheet name. So we want the A8 from the sheet called Sales for Gigi. Ah, but check this out. This is the cool trick that Abhay uh, posted at, at YouTube in a comment. We can use the indirect function. Now, the indirect function specifically takes text that represents some sheet or some reference, any kind of reference, and converts it back to a cell reference. So we're going to build, using wildcards, the sheet references we saw over here based on the name in the cell right here. So in double quotes. I have to start with a single apostrophe. Notice that's double. And now I'm going to do a single, so it looks like there's three. And then I want to do a wild card. Asterisk means zero or more characters. Then I need to end double quote and join that using Shift 7, the ampersand, to the word Joe, right? So that asterisk means that any all of this week one, it doesn't matter what's there, it'll still interpret it correctly and then see the Joe. The single apostrophe is because that's what the sheet reference uh, needs as syntax. Then I need to join it to in double quotes. And now we do our asterisks again. And a single apostrophe, then explanation point. And since it's always on A8, we just type A8 in. Now, the this wild card before and after means it can find, this form of construction can find if the word's in the middle, at the beginning, or at the end. All right, close parentheses, Control Enter, and double click and send it down. That is totally amazing. And if we uh, highlight this and hit the F9 key, you can see, sure enough, that's text, see the double quotes, but there it is. There's our, in essence, uh, sheet reference using wild cards. Escape. All right, totally cool trick. We'll see you next Excel trick, thanks to Abhay.